In my previous video, WS2812B LED strip was programmed using C++ and the Fast LED library. In this video, WS2812B is programmed using assembly to display different colors. The WS2812B is packaged in a 5050 SMD which contains the RGB LED and the control circuitry. Each LED pixel can have 256 brightness levels and combining the three colors we can get 16 million color combinations. The WS2812B can easily be cascaded and it is interfaced with a microcontroller using a one-wire serial connection. To program the WS2812B, the microcontroller has to send a 24-bit data made of three bytes. The most significant byte represents the brightness level of color green, the second byte represents the brightness level of red, and the third least significant byte represents the brightness level of blue. As mentioned earlier, the 8-bit value in each of these bytes represents the brightness level of the color. So for example, for the green LED, if we have this value all zeros, it means the LED is off and we have the minimum brightness. For the red LED, if we have all ones, we have the LED on and we have the maximum brightness. And for the blue LED, when we have all zeros, we have uh, minimum brightness and LED is off. So sending this 24-bit value to the device will display on the first pixels color red. This table here shows the uh, displaying of the primary colors red, green and blue. So if we send this 24-bit value we will display red, this value will display green and this hexy value will display blue. If we want to display the black color, we send all zeros, and to display the white color, we send all ones. Mixing the three brightness levels of the three colors will give us the 16 million color levels, which is basically 256 times 256 times 256. In this video, we'll be focusing only on these uh, five colors so as not to overcomplicate the assembly program. The control circuit on the WS2812B will recognize the ones and zeros sent by the microcontroller by the way it is coded. So for example, a logic zero code will be we have a high pulse of 0.4 microsecond and then a low pulse of 0.85 microsecond. And for a logic one code the high pulse is 0.8 microsecond and the low pulse is 0.45 microseconds. To reset the WS2812B, we need to send a low pulse of at least 50 microseconds. This circuit diagram shows the connection of the WS2812B strip with the Arduino, where the D input line is connected to pin PD4 or D4 of the Arduino and we have an external power supply supplying the WS2812B module. Inside the assembly code we are assigning pin PD4 as output which is connected to the DI of the WS2812B and we are using subroutines to represent the five colors black, white, red, green, and blue. So executing this uh, statement here will display the black color on the first pixel of the module. Inside subroutine black we will output 24 zeros to the module. And here we're using this counter to keep track of the 24 bits. Now the logic zero code is we have a high pulse of 0.4 microseconds and then we have a low pulse of 0.85 microseconds. 
To have a high pulse with 0.4 microseconds pulse width, we need to use six no operation instructions. Keep in mind that one no operation instruction is equal to one clock cycle, which is 0 0.0625 microseconds for a 16 megahertz system clock. Now, if we multiply this by six, we get approximately 0.4 microseconds. To get the low pulse with 0.85 microseconds, we need 14 clock cycles to achieve this. So we're going to use here 12 no operations. Now this instruction takes one cycle, and this instruction takes another cycle, so that totals to 14 cycles to give us approximately 0.85 microseconds. In this first demonstration, we will first display red on pixel 1. And then we will reset the device back to pixel 1 by applying a delay more than 50 microseconds. And then we will display on pixel 1 black, which means turning off the pixel. Inside subroutine red, to display the red color on the pixel, we need to output 8 zeros and then eight ones and then eight zeros so this is the first eight zeros meaning that the green color is off then we will output eight ones meaning that the red is on and then we will output another eight zeros meaning that the blue is off in this next demonstration we want to display red on the second pixel so first we will send to the first pixel black and then the second pixel red and then we reset back to pixel 1 and then we turn off pixel 1 and then turn off pixel 2. In this next demonstration we will display three reds on the first three pixels. So we will display red on the first pixel and then another red on the second pixel and then red on the third pixels. We reset back to pixel 1 and then we turn off pixel 1, turn off pixel 2 and then turn off pixel 3. In this next demonstration we will display red, green and blue on the first three pixels. We display red on pixel 1, green on pixel 2, blue on pixel 3. Reset back to pixel 1, black, turn off pixel 1, turn off pixel 2, and turn off pixel 3. In this next demonstration, we are displaying two different patterns on the first five pixels of the module. One pattern is displayed in red, and the other is displayed in blue. Inside the assembly code, first we call the subroutine that will turn off all of the pixels on the module. In my case, I have 30 pixels. Inside subroutine clear display, we use a loop that will loop 30 times to turn off the 30 pixels on the module. After we clear the display, this part of the code will display the first pattern in red. Next, we turn off all of the pixels, and then using this part of the code, we display the second pattern in blue. In conclusion, WS2812B is a very sensitive device. Since logic 0 and logic 1 timing is less than 1 microsecond, with very small tolerance. Thank you for watching.